Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so tonight I thought I would do some masking techniques and some do's and don'ts. So the first thing, if you look at this card, this is a don't. This is a do. Now, can you see how the bunny looks like he's standing in front of the log and then the plants are behind everything? This one, when you're masking, your mask has to be thin and smaller than what, what you're trying to cover. So cutting out this bunny... And you can use post-it note. Um, I use, well, for part of it tonight, I'm using this post-it removable labeling tape. And for this, I use, which I've shown before, the Avery removable ID labels. And I think you can buy um, a special uh, masking paper that comes eight and a half by 11. But can you see how... I cut like kind of more to the left of the stamped line. So let me just put this aside because I didn't cut out. I mean, I can use this one, but I will show you when you're, when you're cutting. So if I were to cut like this, or if I were to use, say this had a die cut, and I were to use the die cut. You know how the die cut always leaves a rim? So you wouldn't want that because that's exactly what would create that. So you would just cut a little to the left of the edge. Um, also, never use cardstock. You want your paper very thin. I am the worst cutter, just so you know. I'm very slow at cutting. I watch some other people and they're like, psh, 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 psh. and I know you turn the paper and all that, but I'm slow. Okay. So that would be my mask. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to color this one. This is what, you know, the finished card looks like, but I do want to show you the process. So I'm just going to grab some Memento. I've already got a mess here. It's ridiculous. I'll try to clean up in between. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the bunny. And there he is. He's so cute. All right, so then, all right, that's my, uh, I just had him. Oh, here he is. Okay, so then we want to take and cover him up. But you see how that's like kind of right inside of where the line is. It's very important if you want it to look real. You know what? I'll use this one. Oh, I don't need it yet. First, I have to stamp it. Funny, funny girl. And here's, I'm looking for the stamp. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to take soft suede. And we're going to stamp the log. So now you're like, what? But I'm going to now put the mask on that. And then I'm going to grab the green. Garden green. And then I can stamp... And I'm going right over Mr. Bunny. So 
So then when I peel this off, he's going to be naked. Do you see how there's no real spaces? And if there was, sometimes like there's a hair, you can just take that color marker and color it in. But we don't have those spots. And you don't have where you're stamping and you want to put it behind and you go, oh, I just stamped on top of my bunny. So that is how you mask to get a finished look like that. So that's number one. So let me just get some of these things out of the way. Now we're going to do some techniques, Some fun stuff, but that's the basic. All right, get rid of that. So to do something like this, so I took a piece of, oh, I don't want glossy. We want regular. Okay. So what I did is this is that Avery paper and I cut like a, an X in the middle. And I wanted a torn look, so I just tore. And I wasn't worrying at first about what it really looked like until I finished tearing. Then I said, hmm, do I want it a little bigger? Well, that's the... So then you can adjust and that's about right. Okay. So then you're going to peel off the paper and I think I cut it just a hair bigger than the paper so it would hold it down. And do I want to do this on a scrap? Yes, because then I can get rid of it. And okay, so you're just going to place that down. Get your edges around it. Press down good. Then we're going to grab our sponges. Okay, so I used sea foam. And then you always have the decision. Well, I always have the decision. Do I use glycerin or not? So on a couple of these I did and a couple I didn't. Because what happens is sometimes the glycerin will keep the ink wet. So when you're going on to a mask, it, it's going to mm, make a mess. So I'm going to try it without. Okay, then I took the balmy blue. Then I took a little bit of Old Olive, which is hiding some, oh, it's right here. It's not hiding very far. And just put some down there. Just to give it a little bit more shading towards the bottom. Okay, now it's time to remove the mask.
And let's see what we got. And you want to be careful, no matter what kind of mask you use, to kind of roll it off. That's where it tore before. So we'll do that part last. Okay. So then we've got the tree and what I did is I stamped it into the old olive then I took a marker so this is early espresso and I'm just gonna wipe part of that off because I did get a lot extra and I'm gonna go over some of the bark of the tree And then I'm going to stamp without rocking because do you see how I caught the edges there? So there's the tree. And then I took, hmm, I didn't pull it out. Well, we'll try the soft suede. Sorry, I have someone messaging me. Okay, and then, and I forget which set I grabbed this from, but praying that this difficult road leads you to beautiful destination. And then some linen thread. And on the other one, I, I tied a piece, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put it on the background and see how it looks. So early espresso. Me trying to stay neat, huh? Okay, and then I'm going to put it on a white backing. So there's our masking. I was a little longer on the other one. But it all, I mean, they always come out a little different, and it's always good. So that's those two. Let me just close all these pads so I don't put my clumsy fingers in them. <laughs> and that's the other side. Okay, so let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's more better. -er. All right, so I'm going to draw a line there, and come on, one, two, three, four, five, and there. Okay, so then... We take the masking, and I'm going to lay 
one here. And I think this wasn't long enough. And one there. So in this center, I am doing a light color. Not the old olive. Oh. We're going to use this one. Okay, so we're going to do some sea foam. We got some texture going on in there. Okay, then we're going to remove that. Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to take some leaves. From Tropical Cheek. And I'm going to do Old Olive. Let me do the other ones as well. And then we want spruce. Shaded spruce. And I didn't get like real fancy with this card, but I mean after it's done, I mean you could add some some flowers. I just wanted to really show more of the technique. So we've got that. And then, whoops. So now you want to cover this part. And I'm hoping there wasn't anything underneath. You have to be careful that you don't let the glue um, touch onto anything because then where you stick it, you're going to get color. But then there's always tricks where you can cover it up. And then this one. And I kind of did the reverse. I did three and two and three and two. So then we're going to lift that up. And on the original one, I did a blue background, but I'm going to leave that out. I just want you to get the idea. And then I took happy to know you and stamped that in the middle so what you come out with when that's dry I can go back in with glycerin and color the background but what you end up with is that So I'll put that together. Now here's another variation. And I did some design in there and some design over the top there. And then the flowers that I did last week. So it really looks like this is a layer that was put over it, but it's not. It's all, all masked. All right, so now I have one last one. It's fun. I'm 
not sure. You see how it'll like transfer and then it's a little messy doing this, but it's worth it. I'm going to use all new pieces. Okay, so I'm going to take another piece of white. Let me get rid of these. And I'm going to use Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, and Bermuda Bay. And I have a sponge for each of them. So that's that one, that's that one, and that's that one. So what I did for this one, you need two of these. And I think I have to move some of this backwards for it to have enough room. So at an angle, I laid that down. And then I did my first one with Pool Party. Then you lift it up, cover that up, put your second one down, and now I'll do the Coastal Cabana. So now I'm going to lift that up, and I have to fix the spot already. What I'm going to do is let it overlap onto the other one because then you don't end up with that white space. So you just keep doing that, moving it and covering up the other one. And you can let them be um, different sizes. You don't have to have the same width. So you just go with it. I need that one. Whoops. And then the next color was the Coastal Cabana. There's a little bit of glycerin left on my sponges, so it's making that glue lift. This is the one where you really don't want the glycerin because it, it will... Okay, so... When it's all said and done, you start getting that, that pattern. It's going to look like that. So that's how I finished it off. So I did that background and I used the balloons from this month's paper pumpkin and our dies. And this one I did my three. So it's a little bit raised. And then this one I did, and I don't know like where I, why I picked the colors, but then I happen to have this butterfly left over from last week that I cut out from the crayon resist. So I put this card together. So that's my tips and tricks and whatever for tonight with masking. I'm going to bring back oh, I forgot to shut my phone off very nice scale so there's these and this and I think that was it so oh and this one of course of course 
got to get them all in the picture somehow. So thanks for joining me tonight, and I will see you again on Wednesday with, you know my motto, I don't know what, but it'll be something. Thanks for joining me. See you then. Good night.